Lots of media attention on a recent study examining whether labeling food with the amount of exercise that would be needed for them to burn it off changes how much people eat. Let's dig in and see. This is Healthcare Triage News. <laughs> Including calorie counts on restaurant menus is sadly not very effective, as we've discussed before. In addition, a 2018 meta-analysis examining the impact of single food or drink labeling also did not reveal a statistically significant difference in overall energy intake. Data suggests that while the average consumer is familiar with calories, fat, sugar, and other items generally listed on nutrition labels, they report more difficulty understanding the relationship between calories and energy balance. A 2006 survey reported that of the 48 to 66 percent of people who even considered food labels, up to 36 percent of them did not have knowledge of daily calorie needs. Enter the Physical Activity Calorie Equivalent, or PACE, a labeling alternative examined in a recent meta-analysis published in the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health. To the research! Rather than listing calories, PACE labels list the amount of physical activity that will be required to burn the calories contained in a food or drink item. So, for example, a small chocolate bar might list that it would take 42 minutes of walking or 22 minutes of running to burn off the number of calories contained within it. Beyond what appears to be an easy way to consider the cost of the food you're eating, one reason this might be helpful is that people usually overestimate how many calories they burn through exercise. The meta-analysis examined 15 studies of PACE labeling on both food items and restaurant menus. The data indicated an average reduction of 65 calories in food purchases and an average reduction of 80 calories in food actually consumed. Though small, even small decreases can make a difference over time. However, the authors do point out that a 2018 review reported no effect of PACE labeling on food choice. This report concluded that in real-world scenarios, PACE labeling reduced the number of calories ordered by 65, which is similar to the current report's 64.9 calorie reduction in food purchase, but it was not statistically significant. There's probably a lot to unpack there, but overall, Making a direct comparison between these reports is difficult because they each looked at different studies and different things within those studies. One critical difference is that the significant numbers from the current review appeared to result from a comparison to no labeling at all, while the 2018 review reporting no significant difference made a clear comparison to already existing caloric labeling. It should be noted that the authors of the current study rated the quality of most of the available evidence as unclear due to limitations in things like method reporting. So, pace labeling could be a better way to help consumers balance their energy intake. It could also be not better. We just don't know. It's also worth mentioning that there are concerns over whether this type of labeling could have a negative impact on some types of eating disorders. Thus, while news outlets are touting headlines like, food labels should say how much exercise is needed to burn off the calories, we're going to say we need more and better quality research to back that up. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this other episode on how putting calorie counts on menus is ineffective. You can also like or subscribe down below. You can also go to patreon.com slash healthcatriage, where you can help support the show and make it bigger and better. We'd like to especially thank our research associate, Joe Sevitz, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam.